Welcome to the Potato Revolution show at the WA Center in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. And we are standing in the Cult of Potato exhibition, which features 20 artists from eight different countries, uh, a wide variety of potato-themed artworks. We have potato music, we have potato comedy, we have potato cartoons, potato works about the history of potato, we have potato stamps, we have letters purportedly from Vincent van Gogh and Victor Grippo, we have VIP, very important potatoes, and we have photographs of potatoes, we have poems written about potatoes, we have video installations of peeling potatoes, and we have microscopic images enlarged of potatoes. Okay, so we have the work from Michiel Brink from Rotterdam, and for over 30 years he's been making music about potatoes. He named his band De Ardapoletters after Van Gogh's Potato Eaters. He does many other things. He's a mosaicist and a painter and a teacher, but potato is part of one of his concepts. And we have one of his CDs here. We can sample the songs from this. And some of these are drawings that are illustrating scenes from his songs. So the name of this piece is Potato Tomes Obelisk. And these are potato books that I've collected over the last 15 years from different places around the world. Uh, there's many important books in this stack from the history and social influence of the potato to a book about potatoes, not Prozac, to children's books. Uh, to fiction and many recipe books in here, but there's historical books as well, The Great Potato Famine, for example. Uh, so this tower of books demonstrates the wide variety of potato literature that's out there. VIP, very important potato portraits by the artist Andrei Machevsky. He's created a whole series of portraits of potatoes and he's even given them names and biographies, so he sees the potato as characters. He also gives us still life with potatoes, which shows the, the stickers of the potatoes, uh, but then he titles this uh, from the series Garden of Eden. So he sort of recasts the potato as the palm de terre, the apple of the earth of the Garden of Eden. So here we have the work of Gino Schwery. She's a, a Lebanon Beirut based artist. And she did an entire series of hundreds of potatoes where she took photographs of people and then she was able to translate these onto the faces of potatoes. And she says that there's a connection between the skin of the potato and the skin of people and the idea that all of these potatoes have their own distinct personalities as well. We have some works uh, that are political. We have a George W. Bush potato. Uh, some of these are well-known pop figures. Others are friends of hers. But she has the secret method of transferring the, the portraits that she's taken and putting them onto the, the potatoes. So they're actually living portraits. Okay, so I wanted to include this painting by Alan Inman, which is Mr. Potato Head, because he is the pop culture icon of potato. And Alan paints portraits of toys, and of course, what better toy to incorporate into the show than Mr. Potato Head? So I'm very happy to have the work of Jean-Louis Gonterre, a French artist who considers himself a potatoist, and he gives us his portraits of potatoes but there's two series here. We have the uh, heat series and the tension series. And I interpret these as potato barricades. Being a Frenchman, he must know that the barricade is the most important symbol of a, of a revolution. And so for the potato revolution, I'm very happy to have uh, these large scale portraits of these very unique shaped potatoes. So Lucy Kippen is an artist from London, and I consider her my potato sister. And she, before I met her, had made this beautiful work called Dig for Victory, 
which are little images of potatoes that are cast in wax and they're gathering here together uh, almost like uh, a, a revolutionary gathering like an Occupy Potato kind of idea. We met and we talked about being in the Potato Revolution show. She created a new piece. She calls this We the Made Lucky Few. And we have again, uh, and this linoleum reminds me of a home space and again, these little gatherings of potatoes and this lantern, which reminds me of Van Gogh's potato eaters. But it seems like there's a quiet gathering in the darkness. Uh, Again, perhaps revolution is at hand.